Okay, so we're sitting here with Manuel Reyes, um, Executive Vice President of the Chamber of Food, Marketing, Industry and Distribution, which in Puerto Rico we know as Mila. Um, you know, we need to answer the question as to why grocery store shelves are pretty much empty. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Well, there are many reasons, not just one. It's a complex supply chain um, uh, and a long supply chain, uh, which has a lot of knots along the way. Uh, at the beginning, it was a diesel uh, problem to keep the stores open. Uh, but as the weeks have gone by, we've identified the part, part of the problem is that uh, there isn't enough capacity on ships uh, currently to bring all the containers that are trying to get into the island. Who's, so, taking, who's taking it up? FEMA? No, FEMA is taking it up. Plus, there is an increased uh, demand okay. uh, because you have, again, we had little supplies uh, when, when, the hit, the, when the storm hit. The inventories were very low uh, because of Irma before. Uh, once Maria hit, uh, the inventories basically disappear in the island. So to reestablish that, uh, it, it, it takes you know a lot of effort and, and, you, and there's an increased demand for certain articles. For example, water. Uh, water used to be a supply by a local manufacturers uh, and suddenly the manufacturers weren't there or were not uh, or did not have enough capacity uh, to, to supply that demand. Plus you had FEMA buying from them and, and, and a, in a way taking, a, taking uh, uh, that, space. That, that space right. from or, or taking that product from the shelves uh, to, to give away. Uh, so that was part of the problem. And then you had to import water which used to be supplied. So those containers of water are taking up space on ships that used to be uh, dedicated to food, for okay. example. Okay. Uh, plus you had an increased demand on everything. Uh, you have uh, construction supply, uh, you have uh, generators, you have parts for the generators, you have oil, you have oxygen that used to be supplied locally that now, now has to be imported. So you have all these things that have increased demand. And the problem is that there's not enough capacity on the ships that had been serving us uh, until now. And uh, the only so, ships we have are under U.S. flag. Yeah. And, and the 10-day moratorium on the Jones Act, didn't, did it help? Well, it did help, uh, and it's something that's very important to clarify, and, and we're trying to get the data, but we just found an article uh, yesterday uh, on a, a national uh, uh, magazine that says that at least 11 ships uh, or 11 vessels benefited from the, the Jones Act waiver, even though it was a 10-day waiver, which we always uh, uh, thought uh, and, and always complained that it was too short. Mm -hmm. uh, so so it, was, it was beneficial, but it was not enough, and Wasn't it was enough. long enough. And now we know. It, it was not enough because we're having containers being left at the ports in the U.S. Uh, because there's no space and, and we're talking about food items. Uh, you can imagine of other items and anybody that's trying to import stuff in Puerto Rico knows this. Uh, so what's happening is that the carriers are established priorities on what can come in to the island and they're the ones controlling the, 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 the door of what's coming in. Uh, so that in, in itself, it's proof that there isn't enough capacity because if there was enough capacity they wouldn't have to establish priority and everything that wanted to come in would come in but to be fair it's not only uh, capacity on ships uh, th this increased demand also uh, uh, creates a problem with uh, uh, drivers uh, a, a problem with the container themselves, with the equipment, uh, with uh, uh, refrigerator containers, with the chassis with, that they're uh, mounted on. Uh, so it's a it's a huge logistical uh, uh, problem that 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 that's going on and it affects. Uh, what's getting into the supermarket. So what's coming in as far as food? What's coming in? Well, everything. I mean, we're, everything, we're, I mentioned water uh -huh. uh, on, on quantities that had never uh, been uh, to Puerto Rico. And part uh -huh. of it is that people don't have water and people are using water for things that they didn't use to. And not only to drink, they're using water to uh, to wash their, their, their mouth, sure. to, to uh, wash dishes, to, to, you know, to do everything, wash their hands, etc. Uh, because they don't trust on uh, right. uh, the, 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 water the local utility sure. water uh, or the oasis water and that's one of the also one of the solutions that we had identified uh, that people need to start using uh, the oasis and the water from Praza needs to be potable uh, so that that demand from imported water or bottled water decreases and that space is uh, it's free okay so but, but what about food because there are empty shelves well, we everywhere. are we are we, we again we've been meeting on a supply uh, a food supply chain committee for two weeks now okay. since uh, not this Monday the Monday before and we're trying to uh, 
uh, establish our point. I think the, 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 the main point was to recognize this problem. Uh -huh. I think we've proven it. Uh, they requested information on containers being left behind. We proved that, uh, that they were, only with a sample of, of importers. Uh, so we proved that, that that's going on. So uh, uh, FEMA uh, 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 said that they were going to try to get out of the way and as much as they can to allow space on ships because FEMA is taking up, it's bringing uh, a lot of uh, aid and a lot of uh, stuff mm -hmm. uh, so that's taking up space and they're trying to get out of the way and leave that space for the commercials uh, side okay. and we are pushing uh, the carriers to add capacity okay. uh, so we're we're doing you know a lot of stuff in that committee uh, we 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 are you know the, the, uh, right now we're discussing with the carriers if the, they, they're adding capacity or they promise to add capacity in the next couple of weeks okay. uh, we are trying to determine if that capacity is going to be enough uh, and again, it's in any case, it's a little late. It is late, uh, uh, it is late because, because we, we because people realize, are scared. People yeah. are scared. They go to the grocery store, they can't find what they're looking for, and if they do find it, it's three or four times more expensive. It, I mean, uh, in some cases. In, in terms of the cost, it's you know I would argue because there's a price control and uh, um, and you know there's some controls on that. Some but, some controls, but, but there are some items that are. But I do I do agree that it, it creates a, a, a you know a, a mental uh, anxiety. Mm -hmm. uh, of people when they see shelves uh, open and and also it it, it uh, uh, delays the recovery of our sector and of the economy uh, because mm -hmm. for example a supermarket it, it's for them it's very important to sell I mean they're in, they're in business so they, they want to be able to to, to meet uh, uh, their customers uh, demands if they don't they're losing sales True. if if I have to close at three o'clock because I don't longer have any supplies then I'm losing those sales if I could be selling three times as much as I'm, I'm selling because I don't have the merchandise I'm losing business True. Uh, so so you know we're vested in, in, in as a sector we're the most interested you, in, in solving this problem has the sector calculated the losses no so not yet we're trying to solve the problem okay. uh, at some point we will uh, but uh, at, at this time, we're, we're, we're trying to solve the problem, but there are in, immense losses, not only in sales, but in damaged products because mm -hmm. of uh, generators going out uh, or lack of diesel and all those those uh, okay. those problems. So let's wrap this up by letting people know how quickly, you know, you're working well, on the solution, yeah. how quickly should supermarket shelves come back to life? Well, it will depend on all these knots being, you know, being solved. Okay. Uh, but what I do want to say, I don't want to alarm anybody I mean the food is coming in is not coming in to the degree that we would like uh, or the degree that customers are used to they are used to having a well supply uh, business a well supply supermarket uh, uh, at this point it's going to take us some time to have inventories to the level that we're used to uh, but we're pushing very hard and things are coming in so if, if they don't if they don't find uh, a, a product uh, you know at the supermarket today they might go tomorrow and find it because stuff is coming in all the time and it's being distributed okay um, are you working with local producers at all do you know what's going on with you know local meat production um, yeah. uh, agriculture even you know to yeah. maybe compensate for this delay in no, it's coming in it, it's actually to the country contrary in, in, in at least in agricultural products I mean we're gonna have to import oh, yeah. uh, uh, most because uh, you know a lot of the production was damaged but you know we do have milk production we do have bread production we do have cookies produ cookie production and crackers uh, being produced locally and meat production as you were mentioned meat. Uh, okay. so so all that production it's there and we're just trying to uh, you know to take advantage and to support it we have sure. eggs we have there there okay. is still yeah okay. and 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 all that agricultural production that had already been uh, uh, I'm sorry I, I, it's gonna be uh, that yeah. was a chatum. It, yeah, it, it was already yeah, har harvested yeah. it, 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 it's it's on the supply chain so okay. it, it'll probably uh, get to it uh, the, the issue that consumers need to be aware of also is that they, if they don't have electricity mm -hmm. they they I know they wanna they want to find the supermarket well stocked but they're probably going every day 
to to get their meat or right. get their vegetables, etc. Because they have no place to to yeah, to, they're buying what they're going to consume save. that day. Right, right. So so they need to understand that because of that lower demand, even if the supermarket uh, you know wanted to, it's 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 not uh, feasible to have the regular inventory mm -hmm. on those products because the demand's not there okay. or, or the demand is very free. So the supermarket's also adjusting to that. Uh, so people need to understand that reality um, and, and in terms of uh, perishables and, and things that need uh, refrigeration, uh, we're going to have a new reality until the electric uh, problem is solved. Mm -hmm. uh, so if they they were used to see 10 refrigerators at the supermarket, all well stocked, etc., they probably only see five now and they see the others empty. It's not necessarily that there's a lack of, of, of products, it's that the system is adjusting to the demand okay. that, that, that it's a reality because neither the, the, the consumer nor the supermarket have electricity uh, to, to keep that inventory. Okay, so that should last a couple more weeks, a couple more months. It will depend on the area. Okay. Uh, and the areas near San Juan and near the areas that are being electrified first, uh, Ponce, uh, the, the Mayagüez, that they already have uh, very uh, noticeable improvements in mm -hmm. electricity. Um, they they will they will normalize faster. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm cons my main concern is uh, the center of the island, the mountainous region, right. uh, which is going to take longer. Okay. So. Are containers flowing out of the port better now? Like yes. Once they, they get in. Yes, they are. Okay. Yes, they are. So there's no no real backlog. In well, there or? is some backlog. Okay. Uh, what what we've been hearing is that some uh, importers don't have the capacity uh, because they have suffered damages. They have they don't have electricity, etc., to get things out. Right. But it has improved greatly, and at least the, our main uh, members, uh, uh, the principal importers, are uh, are getting their stuff out as soon as it gets here. Yeah, the, there was word about one importer in Bayamon that was really wiped out. Puerto Rico supplies. No. Are they doing better or was yeah that yeah they're doing they better. I don't think they were completely supply. They lost uh, the roof apparently. Yeah, they, they had some damage, uh, but you know they're operating and yeah, as far as we know they're they bringing a lot of dairy stuff like cheeses yeah. and and other stuff that mm -hmm. people were missing. That's mm -hmm. why. Mm -hmm. that's well, why I'm I don't want to talk for them, but I can tell you that they they've been they are operating and uh, and they you know look for ways to 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 compensate uh, whatever damages they had. I mean they they you know you can rent. Uh, warehouse space. You can collaborate with other uh, uh, warehouses and importers to to kind of work on that. Okay. One last thing. What would you tell family members that are in the states that are going to be watching this? You know, in terms of you know how their families are doing here in terms of food. Okay. Well, there is food. They're not going to go hungry. Uh, but you know, we're going to have a difficult situation, and it's going to be you know we're going to be uh, scarce in 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 different products. So it's a new reality. Uh, but it's not that we're going to go hungry. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to have to adapt and, and to deal with the situation as long as it is. But they can help us put in pressure uh, for that added capacity uh, so that things improve faster. And not only in terms of food, I think in terms of economic development. I mean, uh, we're talking about food items which are priority, mm -hmm. and they should be priority in getting those ships. But we need generators to get in. We need the manufacturers to start going in order to recover the economy. Uh, we need everybody. We, I mean, we need anything that uh, wants to get into the island to get into the island. We don't We, we don't uh, need at this point a gridlock at mm -hmm. the ports because we don't have enough capacity on ships, because we don't have enough containers, because we don't have enough chassis, uh, because we don't have enough drivers. I mean, we, we need everything that's trying to get in to get in. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.